Well, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be installing inch and a half KSP hub centric wheel spacers on my 2004 GX470. Now, this will also apply to the Toyota 4Runner, the Lexus GX460, and the Toyota FJ Cruiser, as they all share a very similar drivetrain. Make sure you get hub centric spacers. Follow along with me as I show you how to install them. Right. So first, I want to show you how it's going to go from looking like this to looking like this. All right. Now I'm showing you the back because now is a good opportunity to test your emergency brake. Now I've already tested mine and works just fine, but if your parking brake needs adjustment, the adjustments uh, area, which is right through here in this hole, where you stick a screwdriver there and adjust the uh, pads in and out away from the inside of this um, rotor, Now's a good time to do it because the wheel spacers are going to cover that hole up. So what we want to do today is we want to clean the mating surface here. Now my uh, my rotors here are fairly new and I got them with the center part here, the deluxe centric calipers, which this part painted. So there's not really a whole lot for me to clean off and because it's already painted, it's not, there's no rust there. But if you have rust in this area right here, you want to clean it off. And I'm using some brake clean because I want to make sure I get any brake dust off or any grease or grime. I want to clean this mating surface up really well. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take a steel brush like this, especially if you have rust, and you're going to want to get in there, and you're going to want to really get rid of that rust and dust and grime, especially in between these lugs here and around the, uh, the center of the hub here. All right, what you're going to use is uh, this Permatex anti-seize lubricant here, and you're going to want to liberally coat, uh, coat the back of the spacer, being careful not to get near the holes that the actual studs will go through because we're going to put some Loctite on these wheel studs, and we don't want the anti-seize to be on there when the Loctite goes on there. So make sure what I do is coat this really well and I'll go back and I'll clean off the, the middle part of those holes where the lugs actually go through so we'll coat this real quick and uh, you know you're just gonna put a thin coat on you don't have to put anything thick just when the black disappears then you're all good uh, you don't want to goop it on here just enough to basically coat it and uh, again this is going to help make sure that when you put this spacer on the uh, the rotor here that when you need to go take it off in the future it doesn't stick now as you may notice here I am uh, putting some here on the edge lip because of the hub sticking out these are uh, this is the area that it can get stuck to so any place that it's actually going to touch here with the exception of the actual lugs we're going to want to coat really good so once that is done and coated, as you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm taking a towel and I'm sticking it in the middle of these holes right here and just wiping out any of the anti-seeds so that uh, we don't get that on our lugs when we go to install it. Again, these are inch and a half KSP spacers. Um, a lot of people run them, and wheel spacers are just fine as long as you make sure that you keep them torqued down and tight. And every once in a while, you pull your wheel off and retorque them, or when you're doing maintenance, you check your torque specs. Um, on this GX470, I will check it again in probably a few days to make sure they're still good and tight. The last thing you want is a, 
a wheel coming off while you're riding down the interstate or something. All right, now that we have those good and cleaned off, the next important part is um, another uh, Permatex brand here. This is Threadlocker. Make sure you can see that. Uh, this is the blue thread locker from Permatex. Uh, this is what you want to put on if you intend to actually remove the bolts. I do intend to remove these in the, in, in, the, in the future as I'm doing brake work or something else like that. Some people use the red, which is permanent, and you can break them loose. Sometimes it takes heat, uh, but I'm using the blue as a, a middle ground. It still is a protectant, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a dab of this on each of the inner part where the uh, actual lug nuts will be fitting and not a ton just a little bit because keep in mind as the lugs go around these bolts it'll pull this around the threads so we're just putting a dab here on each of the threads make sure you can see that how much i'm putting on there okay and next, once we're done with that, we're going to take our spacer and we're going to carefully align it because uh, we don't want to rub off the uh, thread locker and we don't want to get this Permatex on our studs. So we want to carefully put that on there, center it the best we can. And what I'm going to do, a lot of times these, these bolts that lock on the, uh, the spacer to your um, rotor there, they're real shallow. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the socket, in this case, this is a 19 millimeter socket. I'm using it to help me thread these on. I'm gonna hand tighten them. these down to 90 foot pound so I've got my torque wrench here adjustable torque wrench and I've got that set at 90 foot pound of torque so now is where we use our pattern so I always start at the top and I've got my emergency brake set so that doesn't spin We're going to use a cross pattern. So start it here, go across here, okay? And we'll go here. We'll go across. End on that one. Then we're going to do it again just to make sure. For that click and again after I say about a hundred miles you're gonna want to pull your wheels off and you're gonna want to check the torque specs on these one more time to make sure they're still torqued down now something else I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a little sharpie and put a mark on these so that I can visually inspect it and I'm gonna do that until after I torque it down a second time because they could move but after a second time, that way I can visually inspect them. And we're all good here. Now, now that that's done, we're ready to reinstall our wheel and tighten our lugs down. And uh, once the vehicle's back on the ground, then you're going to take your, uh, your torque wrench and torque each of these guys down. I torque these down to 90 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, but again, once the wheel is on the ground, then you torque it, up, torque it down. All right, so that's how you install the, uh, the wheel spacers. And again, what you're going to do is you're going to want to pull these wheels back off 
uh, after I say about 100 miles and you're gonna check the torque uh, to make sure there's still torque down again 83 foot pound excuse me 90 foot, foot pound of torque uh, for the spacers I torque these down these outer lugs to 90 foot pound so they may make sure the spacers haven't loosened up any it shouldn't with the thread locker but once you've checked that take a little sharpie and, and make a mark to the spacer and to the uh, the lug nut uh, for the spacer that way you can visually inspect them in the future to make sure they haven't loosened up all right so uh, now we'll go on and let you see what this looks like after I've installed it okay now we're finished with our spacer 1.5 inch KSP spacer install so I want to give you a look around you can see here it's sticking out just a bit here on the side you get a good side profile here and over here see how it came out in the back I'm pleased you could do either 1.5 or 1.25 both are popular sizes uh, give you the side profile there I'll let you look at it from the back all right so that's my how-to for installing spacers on a 2004 GX 470 that should apply to any of the GX 470s GX 460 uh, Toyota 4Runner Toyota FJ as they all have a very similar setup all right well appreciate you taking time to watch this leave a comment below if you've done the same thing or if you have any questions i'll be glad to answer them make sure you subscribe for more content take it easy everyone bye bye